The FIT principle, F-I-T-T, -T, stands for the frequency, intensity, time, and type of exercise recommended to increase physical fitness. The FIT principle can be used as a guide to achieve health benefits and improve physical fitness for physical activity and exercise. Let's start at the last letter of the FIT by describing the type of exercise that should be included in a program to improve physical fitness. Cardio exercise or activity works your heart and lungs, making you breathe a bit harder and it will, will improve your energy levels. Examples include walking, hiking, swimming, or biking. Strength exercise or activity uses your muscles to make an effort and improves your ability to remain mobile. Stronger muscles are better shock absorbers, can help stabilize your joint, and improve your balance, reducing the risk of falls. Examples of strength activities are heavier house or outdoor work. Strength exercises can include lifting a load, for example, weights, soup cans, also using resistant bands, or using your body as a weight. Neuromuscular exercise or activity focuses on attention to and awareness of your body position and how you move. Improving your quality of movement, reducing the load on your joints, and allowing you to move with more ease. Examples of activities that involve neuromuscular strength are Tai Chi, yoga, and Pilates. There are also specific exercises that you could do. Flexibility exercises and activity maintains or increases your joint mobility and keeps your muscles supple. For example, yoga and specific muscle stretching exercises. For cardiovascular exercise, aim for most days of the week, or at least five. Strength. To gain muscle strength three days per week on alternate days so that you have a rest day in between, to, and to maintain strength two days a week is sufficient. Neuromuscular exercise. Aim for three days a week, but make sure you practice using proper alignment in your everyday activities, such as getting out of a chair or doing stairs. Flexibility. If your joint does not have full range of motion, aim for daily stretching. For cardiovascular or cardio exercise and strength, start with a moderate level of effort. You may be more aware of your breath. With more vigorous activity, you will start to sweat and breathe a bit more heavily, but you should still be able to talk. Neuromuscular exercise. Focus on quality of movement, which will require a different type of effort. Flexibility. Only go to the point of a strong pull with a steady hold. No bouncing. For cardio activities, any activity is better than none. As little as 10 minutes can result in health benefits. This may be your first goal. Gradually increasing your time will make it more manageable. Canada Physical Activity Guidelines recommends at least 150 minutes of moderate to vigorous activity each week, or 30 minutes most days of the week. Strength and neuromuscular. If your muscles are weak, start low with one or two sets of six to eight repetitions. Gradually build to three sets of 15 repetitions over time. Flexibility. Do each stretch up to three times and hold 45 seconds.